Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, got some breaking news for you guys. Vontae Davis, the former cornerback from the Indianapolis Colts, has just been signed by the Buffalo Bills. Now the only thing that I'm thinking here is what's going to happen to EJ Gaines. That's all that I'm thinking here. I mean, Vontae Davis, he was a pro bowler. I think he went twice the pro bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he is 29 years old, I'm pretty sure, so he's still got a little bit of football left in him. Hopefully they sign him to like a one or two year deal. Um, pretty cheap, I'm hoping. I hope don't break the bank on some guy like that. Um, and I don't think they will, I think they're smarter than that. Um, but I think the reason why he signed with Buffalo is because I think the Bills, in my own opinion, had the best chance of winning going into the 2018 season. So he's probably like, you know what, let's go have a fun year and I'm going to go sign with a good team. And so he signed with Buffalo. And the thing that I'm thinking here is what's going to happen to EJ Gaines? Pro Football Focus actually ranked him the 17th best cornerback in the league. I mean, a top 20 cornerback. Did the Buffalo Bills resign that? I mean, because... Tredavious Wade was actually ranked the second best cornerback according to Pro Football Focus and what they got from their stats and stuff. Actually ahead of Jalen Ramsey and ahead of Marshawn Lattimore, the defensive rookie of the year. So the thing that's interesting here is you got a really good duo when healthy. When Tredavious Wade is healthy, he's a top he's a top two corner in the league, according to Pro Football Focus. When EJ Gaines is healthy, he's a seven, he's the seventeenth best corner in the league top 20 cornerback. I mean, that's a very good duo. That's like, that's exactly where you want to be. If not two of the top 10 cornerbacks is kind of what you strive to have, but then it can get really expensive. So I can see the Bills um, getting, you know, Vontae Davis and then saying, okay, well, EJ Gaines, we got kind of got your replacement at least for um, a year or two years, whatever the contract has. I think this makes a lot of sense for both of the parties. Vontae Davis wants to win now. He's kind of getting up there in age, especially 29 for a cornerback is not, I mean, you're on the back end of your career for sure. And the Buffalo Bills are looking to probably get a replacement for EJ Gaines, I'm assuming. Um, we don't know what, we haven't really heard anything. I haven't really heard anything about EJ Gaines leaving Buffalo, except for like one post by Tredavious White. I can't tell if it was a joke or not. But he was something like, um, where are you going? Out of Buffalo, shake my head. Um, so you never know. I mean, that could that could be some kind of insider. Like, does Trey White know that, you know, he's a going or what? And it seems like it's kind of leaning toward, like, they're not going to re-sign him. Um, but we never know. I mean, they could re-sign him. I personally like EJ Gaines. I think he should be back next year. But if he doesn't, I'm not going to be entirely mad because we got a pretty good corner with a lot of... Um, experience in Vontae Davis. So all in all, I think that this was a great signing by the Buffalo Bills. I think it never hurts to add depth at your cornerback position, especially a veteran guy. I think that this is a great idea considering that um, he's kind of an older guy, so he can kind of mentor Trey, Trey White, even though Trey White looks like a pro already. Anyways, I think the Buffalo Bills defensive backs are going to be absolutely fantastic this year, just like they were last year. So look for that and look for Vontae Davis to make a big impact especially if EJ Gaines does not get re-signed. So that's it for me in this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please go leave a like down below, comment your opinions, let me know what you guys think about Vontae Davis signing with Buffalo. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics channel and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace!